Do you mind if I make a non additive vodka drink here for us? Yeah. This is your vodka company, and you base it. I, I know you are a, a huge fan of extraterrestrials, and one of the things I'm very excited to talk to you about is that. But this sure, is. Sure, I uh, brought you a book for on all of that. Yeah. Cool. This is based uh, on the crystal skulls, right? This is well, yeah, the package is based. That is, uh, folks. Package is based on the on the crystal heads right. because we wanted to sell the idea of purity, and you can see it's a nice, smiling, little, happy little skull. It was designed by John Alexander, the great Texas artist. Uh, here's our, uh, this is our wheat version. We have corn in here. We have wheat in here. And there's no cleaner vodka, I must say, on the planet. We go to great lengths to make this a clean product. Not only is the bottle beautiful, but the unique fluid inside is what has got us to 70 countries, over 50 million bottles sold. We've won 12 gold medals. We won the Prodexpo in Moscow for excellent taste out of 400 beverages. And what we do is we take uh, peaches and cream corn from Chatham, Ontario, and we put it in the truck in the mash, and we ship it 95% al uh, alcohol volume uh, at that point, and we take it over, and we put it in the ferry boat, and we bring it over to the distillery in Newfoundland, Canada, the last, one of the last state-owned stills in the world. And why are we there? Because the water from the original Wisconsin glacier is... Mm. Under Newfoundland, so uh, water is an vodka is an old Russian word for water, and is great, it really? yeah, and great vodkas have sweet water. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna, I want you to just take a sip, and then I'm gonna make a nice crystal oh, draw. But just so here's our notes, cheers, here. sir, just a cheers. sip, yeah, cheers, yeah, indeed. Hey, to our daughters, to everybody, daughters, daughters and sons, and daughters. everybody, sons, daughters, mothers. It's very good sweetness. Sweet, vanilla, dry, crisp with a kick of heat off the finish are our notes from Anthony Dias Blue. We take that to the distillery in Newfoundland. We use the water there. We do not add flavor packs. Flavor packs are added to lesser vodkas. That's glycerides, sugars, terpenes, and we put them... Uh, they put them in these packages, uh, and they, they put them into the vodka. We eliminated all of that, and we have no additives at all. This is C2H506, just absolute ethyl alcohol, grain alcohol, purified, distilled in, in a carbon filtration system, not the one with the hose where they just blow it through. No, we, we, we distill and we filter, and we pour it over uh, Herkimer Diamonds. Diamonds? Yep. Uh, you pour it over diamonds? We do. We, we pour it over the Herkimer Semi-Precious Stone. And the Her Herkimer Semi-Precious Stone is a, one of our last purification processes. Now, if you asked a high school professor, what does pouring alcohol over diamonds do to the alcohol? They'd probably say, well, nothing. But our stones, after certain pours, a certain number of pours, they turn yellow. And we have to bleach them, clean them, or replace them. The Herkimer Diamond is found in uh, an, an, an anomalous area. Uh, of upstate New York, also in Afghanistan and in Oaxaca, Mexico, uh, they're found. They're, they're little semi-precious double-ended crystals, and people love the taste of the vodka poured over the stones. Now, D Is there a chemical reaction that causes the stones to turn yellow? or is I, there You know, again, you know, you'd have to sit with a chemistry press professor and say, why, why does the alcohol turn the, the crystals yellow? Is it doing anything? Is it purifying it? We've done flavor profiles where we'd, we pour it over the stones and give it to people, and we don't pour it over the stones and give it to the people, and they like it better poured over the stones. Now, why I like the Herkimer Diamond is, of course, because it's near Griffiths Air Force Base, Rome, New York. Dun, dun, dun. You know, and that was where a lot of scrambles went up in the 70s and 80s against wh whatever was coming and going in, in, the mi in the mountains there, Pine Bluff. Um, you know, our Pine uh, Bush, New York. Pine, folklore. Pine, Pine oh. Bush, yeah, Pine Bush, New York. So I thought... This is great. Herkimer Diamonds from that area associated with ETs, the Navajo, the Aztec, the Anasazi. They said that these skulls came down to them from the star children. They were, they, they were given to them as scrying devices to help the tribe move forward, to give positive energy to the tribe. And so I thought, perfect tie-in. We pour our vodka over Herkimer Diamonds. We're tied in a little to the extraterrestrial legend there with the skull. And it kind of it's the neat kind of bow to our product. But the most important thing is... That that you know, the fluid in the bottle matches the beauty of the bottle, and the bottle is to sell the idea of purity and enlightened thinking, enlightened drinking, which was what these, these skulls were made for. Gosh, it's good even without the orange juice. Dan Aykroyd, you might be the greatest salesman that's ever lived. Um, no, I'm sold. No. Uh, this is another one, folks. I don't know if you could see this. For people listening, you definitely can't. But if you're looking at it in, on YouTube, um, this is an absolutely gorgeous bottle with artwork all over it. This really cool design. There's all these little skeletons and... 
it's hard to tell because it's kind of abstract a lot of the stuff in it but uh well that's john Ale- uh, john alexander's work he does he he loves skulls and skeletons and and that kind of stuff and this is uh, gorgeous and day of the dead stuff and and so um you know he uh he painted that up he's my old he's one of my oldest friends and we met because uh, I was working on Saturday Night Live, and uh, my girlfriend there was Rosie Schuster, one of the writers, and you know we fell in love, and we had a great time, and wrote the show. We wrote Fred Garvin, Male Prostitute, and a lot of other things. <laughs> and then I went away to do Blues Brothers, and she said, I'm breaking up with you. And I said, well, for, for what or for who? Well, I met this artist, John Alexander, so... She dumped me for him, and now we're best friends, and uh, we, uh, we'd <laughs> like to find together? Rosie again. I No, 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 no. She dumped me for, and he went on to, uh, to get married and do other stuff. But, um, yeah, that's how we met. So it's kind of a, a, an interesting friends, creative friends. So we are the vodka for the creative spirit. It comes from two artists, a writer, him an artist, a uh, graphic artist and designer and painter and sculptor. So, you know... Uh, Millennials love us because there's an OBS story on our purity. We are, we are, uh, we are a pure story. We're a story about fun and uh, about enlightened drinking in, in moderation, of course. And we are uh, a story about quality. And so I think people are buying it. We have a lot of uh, uh, female demographic there because of the cleanliness, because we don't have the, the additives in it. And, uh, you know, we just take the trouble to, to make this product uh, in, in a special way. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is about 11 years. We're in 70 countries and wow. been doing, doing really, really well with it because people are getting the story that uh, it's not only the, the bottle, it's, uh, it's, what's, it's what's in the bottle. You get it, BevMo, Total Wines, ABC Liquor, um, bars all over the, uh, the world have it now. And, um, yeah, they... Uh, the, oh, we got a sign bottle. They like the, they like the no, no additive story. Um, sure. And, yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's a little more expensive in retail, but it works out to about 37 cents uh, a drink more. If you have uh, 25 drinks in a bottle, you buy that bottle. Um, it's, uh, it, it, you know, it, you're, you're paying a little more for the quality and for the package, but you got to... You, know, you don't have to, you, you don't have to uh, pay too much more for, for a drink. It's like 37 cents more if the average drink. When bars, we say, we sell it for like maybe seven bucks a shot or say nine bucks a shot seven for uh, or t- t- you know two for 14 and three for 21 you're well, losing people in the weeds here this is yeah. uh very delicious though i'm not a vodka guy i generally like whiskey because I, I like to know mm-hmm. what's happening like the thing about vodka is it's so smooth and this is very delicious and smooth like before you know it you're fucked up well uh, with whiskey i feel like you know it with every taste what you're, you're like Oh, well, we don't have exactly an overbus viscosity. It's sweet and 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 it's it's got beautiful viscosity and if you're there. Keto, this is the thing to drink if you're on a ketogenic diet. Um, do you, can you want a, want a little citrus in there? Try it. Sure, yeah. that's your move. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I like I like it. Can you squeeze it in there very slowly and make it look like an egg yolk going in there? And so look, tell I'm me. having a lot of fun with the, the business. It's Beautiful. eleven years. We're having fun. We're fighting against the big guys. You know, we got to do stunts and do exciting things uh, and, and talk. You know, talk about it in ways that it hasn't been talked about before. The we did change the industry. We are the purest play out there in terms of uh, of vodka consumption. I don't slag other brands. They want to use the flavor packages. They want to put glycerin ride in there which is of course a synthetic it's a lipid they want to put it in there it's a cousin to antifreeze i gotta say it's they a want cousin to, to antifreeze it, yeah glyceride glycerol glyc- what if you're glycol. a really good person and your cousin's a murderer though does that matter um well let me see uh, christ you know loved prisoners and christ forgave so uh <laughs> so you know, let's i want to Ted talk Bundy's to you sister i don't know yeah maybe she's a nice person well i have an interesting story for you and this is of course totally anecdotal and it's part of drink. the it's part of the lore and um May I, we have, you want another drink? Hell yeah. Okay, so. You want a drink? Oh, we. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. I, I do believe that we actually rent to the moon. I, I, I don't believe that, um, I don't believe uh, that uh, that's a fake uh, experience. I, you know, I'm some people say, oh, well, it was black and the dust didn't, you know, the dust uh, flew up and it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Uh, Crystal had vodka, cleanest vodka on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Dan Aykroyd, you're a beautiful human being. Thank you for being here, man. Oh, fun, man. It was man. a pleasure. Great. It was a real Indeed. pleasure. I'm, uh, I'm the, a huge uh, fan The 1952 forever. UFO book's yours, and the Hemmings Motor U- News you. is yours. Thank you. And thank you for the the vodka, this awesome vodka. And your, Tell everybody how you, where, you can buy this everywhere, right? Yeah, everywhere. Crystal the, the main Head thing, vodka. Crystal Head, the main thing about it, no additives. We don't put the flavor packages in. No glyceride, no terpenes, no sugars at all. It's That's completely what I hear. clean. And uh, <laughs> as you saw, you had a nice uh, viscous it's experience. It's, it's very, very it good. It really is, with or without it really uh, is. additives. It's and bar, outstanding. Bar chefs love it because it's 
It's the virgin canvas. I'm never buying any slate. other vodka again. How about that? Well, thank you very much. You'll For be the buying rest the of my cleanest. Life. I'm I, only I, buying I love your that. Shit. I love that. We'll we'll have to uh, we'll have to make sure that we uh, we'll have to do have this another again. visit. Yes, Thank indeed. You, sir. Really appreciate it. Take you. care. Thank you, you very too. much, Bye. Dan Aykroyd, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.